Hi there, this is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and this is the weekly Your Place for Worship Encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. If you're watching, I'm having really some tough times with this live today. Oh, hey Rosie, I can see that you're here. Can you make a comment to see if I can see comments? Because I wasn't getting them last week. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to... I can't actually see the comments, so if uh, you're here and give me a thumbs up, uh, welcome. I can I can see if a couple of people are watching, so I'm just going to carry on. Um, it's it's Thursday and it's the weekly. I've never said it was the Wednesday weekly, but uh, I do try to do it on Wednesdays because the property here is a lot very busy on the week the weekdays. Wednesday is the only quiet day, and you can hear my husband on the tractor. And then there's a lot of kids in the pool, so hopefully that background noise you can't um, you can still hear me. So welcome. It's been kind of one of those weeks. I actually did get up. I yesterday. Being prepared I even put makeup on which on Thursdays if you know my schedule at all which is the day that I do a lot of the sewing I don't do my hair and I don't put on makeup but I got my makeup on um, just for you and anyway so that is we're here today and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what's been going on uh, and give you a little bit of encouragement and one of the things that happen for me with the Lord when things that happen in the natural are weird and I just say hmm, that was totally strange like what is up with that Lord and I've just been having a lot of those moments in the last week or so and I have another border story for you uh, as you know that I'm Canadian and I ship twice a week into the United States I use USPS Postal Service and so I have to go across the border uh, all the time so I'm going back and forth into Canada and usually when I come back into Canada I come back through the regular lane I don't have to go through commercial except for obviously when I'm bringing back commercial goods and I usually plan that because I you have to have paperwork to go in so the last time I had a story a couple weeks ago I told you a story uh, about when I went into the States and they I didn't have ID with me and how the how they let me in and there the Lord gave me a lesson in that is that when we cross over from one realm to another uh, that it's the intimacy it's it's they know you that allows you to pass in and out and so as I was coming back into Canada what actually prompted it was Jen Bennett one of our fire catchers had ordered a flag and I had was shipping it but I realized as I, as I was about to actually d deposit it at the post office that I forgot that there was a something that I needed to fix on it before I sent it out uh, and so I'm like well I'm just gonna bring it back but then I knew I didn't have documentation for this commercial item even though I made it the commercial item coming back into Canada so I had to go through commercial but I didn't have documentation and since I didn't have documentation there was other things at the post office that I needed to pick up things like the flat the priority post boxes and um, something that someone had sent me that they needed uh, me to switch on their flags and so like well I'm just gonna bring it all so I picked everything up and um, because I knew that I was going through the commercial and I was always gonna have a problem I just hoped that I could just do it in one fell swoop and it would be okay so I got to the border uh, they they did ask me to come inside and I talked with the officer inside and and he says well you don't have any documentation so we can't prove who you are and I, I thought, yeah, that's right. So how? So what am I supposed to do? Um, should I like? Should I call my husband to give me a pillow? Should I set up camp here? Is this where I'm going to live from now on? Uh, and he said, well, let me just take a look at your account. And so after a few minutes, I got came up to the counter again, and he said, well, you have a long history, so you're good to go. And that really got to me got me thinking is about your long history with the Lord it's not it's not the one thing the one time that you do something it's your long history and, and that's really where identity comes from it's when we when we come into the kingdom of God our identity is changed but the more that you walk out your identity I've been Andrea a long time but when I was a baby I didn't even know my name but I've been walking 
this life for a long time and I've been walking with the Lord for a long time and if you've been walking with the Lord for a long time that's actually where your identity how much of your identity that you're walking in is going to determine um, it's it's based out of that long history uh, Bill Johnson has this great quote with the BSSM students that attend to school they're super excited when you first come into the kingdom you're super excited and you're like on fire and he says to the kids the students they're not all kids uh, he says to the students that's great that you're burning you know after a year come come back to me in 20 years and tell me that you're still burning and that's the history that's the longevity with the Lord so that's just building that and as you build it they know you that they say oh you've got a long history no problems come on in so that actually segues into a lot of I think some of what what's happening in this in the spiritual realm we do have an identity collection that's that I'm working on there's been a just a myriad of, of hurdles that have delayed the, the release of it I was hoping for next week but I think it's gonna it will be in this in this month um, so it's just a great collection I've been loving it and I, again one after another the Lord has just been affirming identity 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 and so the theme for the collection is called beyond display so I'm just telling you a little bit more than um, I, I'm just really excited and I think that you need to know that that's the direction that we're heading so we are going to our next fire catchers classroom is going to be on September 8th and we are going the title is beyond display uh, and that's going to be at 9 o'clock PST time we'll create the we'll create the invitation in the fire catchers group uh, and if you missed the la this last week's fire catchers blue more you're planted Rosie was teaching that is available on the website so all of these will uh, we'll have the links for you and then what's coming up immediately next week on next Friday the 24th is our book club online book club uh, the book is a living canvas by Ilsa Spears. She is part of our Firecatchers community and she's actually going to be joining us in that book club. Uh, we had so much fun with Candace last time, last month with the author with us when we got to discuss the book. So we'll have the links as soon as I'm done or if Rosie's um, really fast. I can't even tell because the comments are off but uh, we'll get you the links so that you can purchase that book and still join us but even if you haven't read the book join us anyway because it is such a really it's a great time for us to see and hear each other and actually get to hear and see the heart of the author who wrote it our trending uh, flags this week uh, I didn't actually look um, fully at all the data but and it probably is gonna change slightly now but covenant has been I've been super busy with covenant making covenant flags for you and and this was very for me this was an interesting hmm Lord what's all this about because I thought I know that it has been covenant has been a trending flag uh, for the last couple of weeks and I wasn't sure if the power of suggestion if I know I, I say it and you buy it uh, but really the reality is that these covenant flags I sell actually on Etsy and on Amazon as well and they are not access to our small uh, group of fire catchers and so the orders are coming in from them as well and so the Lord what the Lord was telling me in actually in relation to knowing our identity and why it's so important that we're on display and that we know our identity is that before the Lord does something new he always affirms his covenant with us and so that's really exciting uh, I, I think that uh, we fire the fire the original fire flags um, will probably be trending for next week already and from what I can tell but uh, the data will I'll let you know next week and finally just where you can reach us if you are not part of our fire catchers group on Facebook you definitely want to be part of that group we're a super super Supportive, encouraging group where we have lots and lots of fun I'm I show up in the group Rosie's really active in the group as well and uh, we I show you new things there's there's been a few uh, sneak peeks of the collection uh, so that's definitely where we engage with one another and we encourage you to participate with us and the second place that you can get a lot more from Catch the Fire Worship Flags is our email list. It's the VIP email list. Now, if you're part of that list, you knew that you actually got some special promos that were just for people on the list this week. 
so stuff like that you're gonna get even more sneak peeks uh, all make sure that you get all of the downloads everything that we give for free you're definitely going to be getting that without having to search for it so that's on the VIP list and I share I share a little bit more and if you're on Instagram follow us on Instagram you'll find actually that we don't I try not to duplicate all of the all of the information on every social media platform so that you are actually getting something new. So there's a lot that's going on with our company and our business. And so if you want to know what's going on and what you uh, worship, how to help you elevate your praise, we do that on all the platforms that were available. So we are on Instagram, actually YouTube as well. Uh, everything is the, the our handle is catch the fire worship flags. So it's instagram.com slash catch the fire worship flags, uh, youtube slash dot com slash catch the fire worship flags, and also Pinterest, which is not completely active just yet. But stay tuned, all of those things, we will be introducing new things. So that's how to find us. I really can't see your, the comments, so I'm hoping that uh, you got something out of this. I'd love to hear your testimonies about your identity, how you have been affirmed this week, because I know in the kingdom that the God is doing something new. And before he does that, he always makes sure that we know who we are so that we know how to act in the new, in the new coming of what he's doing. So have a great week and I'll see you in the Firecatchers group and, and online here. Take care. Bye.